Hi everybody, Perfecto de Castro here. And uh, last night, uh, when I got home from a Rock Stallion gig, I found this box waiting for me. Hmm. Wonder what's inside. <laughs> it was already 2 a.m. and I had to get up at 6 um, for father duties. <laughs> But anyway, uh, it took all my self-control not to tear the box open. And, um, and I'm actually kind of quite surprised because uh, this wasn't supposed to arrive till later today. Um, and I was checking the uh, FedEx tracking info and I guess I have another box coming in today. So I will hold off and uh, exercise self-control for a few hours long until the other box comes in and then we'll do the unboxing and maybe shred on these guitars. So uh, I'm gonna go take a nap later. Okay, screw sleep. I'm gonna open her up. I'm gonna have my little buddy Julian here. Okay, help me out. Okay, here we go. Really went to town taping this thing up. <laughs> it's got staples too. Okay. Package there. And it's a box within a box. Okay, professional checklist. Adjust neck relief, adjust knot height, adjust bridge height, pickup height, stroke tune, proper intonation, weight chord test, chord lead bends, double stops, and all that. Check electronics, check hardware, fit and finish, case gig contents, verify all parts, access included. Professionally set up by Richard Leach. Thanks, Richard. Okay. Ah. Lifetime guarantee, Grover machine heads, the Dario New York XL. Let's see, nice little guitar polishing cloth here. Now, this is the important part. Okay, so I got the whammy out, wrenches. Okay, cool. Now, moment of truth. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. Very nice. I must say this looks way nicer in person than it looks in pictures. So this is the raw gray burst finish. Okay. Mahogany back. Three piece mahogany neck made in Korea. And let's see. Reasonably in tune. We'll check it out. So, 
I'm gonna plug it in and you'll get to hear it for the first time. Sweet. Okay, so I'm switching to my GoPro because <laughs> my phone's uh, lo running low on batteries. Um, even though the guitar came in uh, nicely set up by the guys at Riff City, um, I have my own uh, preferences, so I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. Now, I highly recommend that um, all guitar players know a little bit about setup. That way, you know, when you need to, you can easily tweak uh, stuff. And it's not, even if you're not mechanically inclined, guitars are simple machines. So just take a, like an Allen key, you can tighten or loosen screws to raise or lower actions and, and all that. So it's, it's not that difficult really. So anyway, the, the first string is a little high for my taste, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna crank it down just a little bit, maybe a couple of turns. feels right about right and then um, of course if you raised or if you change the tremolo height the strings are gonna go out of tune um, the strings did go out of tune during transit so it's expected I mean new strings plus a week traveling across the US so things are likely to change Now the thing about Floyd Rose systems is uh, you want to achieve a balance between string pull and spring pull. And what I always want, um, what I always try to achieve is to get the base plate here, see this, um, to sit parallel across the guitar face. So, as you're tuning the strings, you'll want to keep a um, screwdriver handy so that you can tweak the spring tension in the back. And this is very cool because I don't have to take the back plate off <laughs> to adjust it. Okay. So you can easily access the, uh, the spring cloth screws um, through these um, holes in the back plate. So, let's see where we're at. Uh, oh, right now I'm just plugged into my 11 rack because I had a gig last night and I haven't brought my uh, Victory amp yet in from um, from over there. <laughs> I'm in my music area. Okay. And I got in late. I forget, 2 a.m. I think I mentioned 2 a.m. earlier in this video. And I was just so tired that I just um, didn't want to deal with schlepping gear. Now one trick I do for uh, Floyd Rose systems, actually any floating tremolo setups, is you get the, take the, figure out which string is the most out of tune and tweak that first. So in this case it's a low E. Okay. 
and usually that brings everything into balance so um, like right now this is way too sharp and the other strings are a little flat so instead of um, tweaking the other strings and saving this for last I tweak the string I tune the string with the biggest difference in tuning then I tweak the others so that usually pulls everything into balance relatively quickly because okay. otherwise you're gonna end up chasing um, your 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 tensions Okay, so let's let her rip. So here's how I test if the frets are all level. gain and switch on a boost <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
guitar sings. I'm plugging into a fake amp and it's ringing. It's great. Viking Blues. Thank <laughs> you. 
man, this is seriously fun guitar. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna stop now because this lack of sleep is getting to me. But there you have it. I'm gonna upload this video in its entirety, clamps and all. <laughs> but seriously, Chapman Norseman. Thank you very much, Rob, and the team at uh, Chapman Guitars. This is a seriously fine instrument. I highly recommend it. Everybody should get one. <laughs> and uh, they are now available at Rip City Guitar Outlet. Uh, and on uh, in the Philippines, they will be available through Guitar Pusher. So go check them out. I'll just I'll put links in the uh, description video description below as well. So. literally can't stop playing it so anyway i'll see you guys again soon uh proper videos of this guitar soon as well and uh you know um hopefully in a few hours i get the ghost fret as well so ah as well soon as well soon whatever <laughs> the slack of sleep's getting to me so see you guys again okay perfecto out <laughs>